Hi, I realized I haven't reviewed your submissions in a long time. Let's find your treasures among the strange stuff to submit. Okay, boomers, if you have questions with quality, post it on our subreddit, no matter your entity. I may or may not check it in the next episode of Latitude. Teacher, there is no electrical device that has 100% efficiency. Some energy is converted to heat. Me? What about a heater? Yeah, I mean all electronic devices waste energy in form of heat. But a heater's purpose is to generate heat. So is it really 100% efficient? Remember, efficiency is the desired output power divided by the input power used to create it. So you must define an objective. If the heater is supposed to heat the universe, then sure, it's 100% efficient. But if the objective is to keep you warm at home, then maybe 5% efficient? Because it also heats walls, chairs, doors, melts your kid's ice cream, you end up wasting more energy cleaning it. You get what I'm saying? A lot of energy is wasted and only some of it warms you up. So wear thicker clothing. Learning is hard, how do they do it? You should use my sponsor Brilliant.org. You learn better by interaction and Brilliant provides that on all sort of math, science and computing lessons which you can start on for free for 30 days using my link in the description. Oh, okay, more at the end. Cooking steaks with electricity. So I thought to myself, what if lightning struck a steak? <laughs> That's a crazy experience. Hey, that's Nate from the internet. Safety is number one priority. As soon as I plug the cord in, the electricity will start running through. So they are sticking live and neutral wires into a hot dog trying to cook it. So I've got the cord running into these plates to sort of sandwich oh, it and cook it. Easy. Now we are cooking. Oh, it's popping out. If it was me, I would accidentally push the plate back in with my hands and probably get hurt in the process. <laughs> I've said it before, I don't think this is good for you. See, we know electricity breaks water into oxygen and hydrogen gases. Add salt, you get chlorine gas and such when you cook with electricity. I don't know what kind of poison you're eating, but I guess you can try very little of it. A bit of poison hasn't killed anybody. Here, try this. Mehdi status. <laughs> Gave me a jump scare, man. Let's watch it again. He's making free energy device. There is no free energy. <laughs> Great animation, sir. Good job. Remember that. If you try to trick people with that kind of free energy device, that thing will attack you. Mehdi, I wasn't expect to see you at use my clip saying no in his video. Maybe I should give you a proper no green screen. Here. No! My dad in Greece checking the breakers. So here in the hotel, we have the uh, breaker box. <laughs> and you can see here that you have the GCFI, uh, GCFI. Very well protected. So we're going to check these out to make sure that they're all okay. <laughs> <laughs> no hotel can get away with any failures anymore. My people are checking everywhere. I created this electric tea light using the coherer effect. Oh, the light turns on when you... Did he put a coherer device inside the tiny lamp? That's a smart way of using coherer effect. It looks like magic, a light turning on with a lighter. Watch my video to learn how coherer switch works wirelessly with electromagnetic interference. Is this actually something that can be replicated in real life? 5 watt, 40 watt, 5 watt, why the 40 watt light doesn't light up? This type of question seems to be confusing. People think the higher power lamp just crushes the lower power lamp in power consumption and so it should be brighter. But in reality, the lamp consumes its rated power only when it is directly connected to the line voltage because a higher power lamp has a smaller resistance. So say when a 60 watt lamp is put in series with a 5 watt lamp, it acts like a short circuit and consumes much less power than the 5 watt lamp. Like this, a 60 watt lamp series with a 5 volt LED light and only the LED light turns on. Although if we try to- ah, Only the 5 watt lamp turns on. Although if we run the 60 watt lamp directly on 120 volt, it will turn on- 
you get the point. If you try to put lamps in series, you may get electrocuted. Don't try it. Kind yet too dumb. What are they doing? Oh, a, a pigeon is stuck on the power line and he's... Okay. He's trying to free the pigeon from the power line. Oh, I hope that wood is not conductive. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> that was quite dumb oh, just leave the pigeon there man you, you don't need to die for a pigeon oh thankfully the guy is just shaken <laughs> never touch high voltage power lines even with a stick not only you can kill yourself you can actually electrocute the poor pigeon too maybe just get a basketball and throw it at the pigeon much safer never assume whatever stick you have is rated for high voltage high voltage will find any imperfections or moisture and finds its way to your heart everyone is safe and healthy here youtube don't demonetize me am i the only one who just realized that mehdi uses green screen even for his own garage when he's just talking my garage? Just talking? Maybe? Green screen? Well, I mean, I do often use green screen and the only way you can tell is by this motion blur effect and the green stuff between my fingers. But where am I? Well, let's see. I'm still in my room. It is good to have when I want to overlay myself on some like videos or whatever background and I want to keep my options open so I don't always have something to show behind me so I just show my room this needs the rectifier the rectifier also uses green screen <laughs> it's so he only has to clean his shop one time hmm? that's not a bad idea I can keep everything messy <laughs> I say, what would happen if the boat sank from its weight and you're in the boat and you have this tremendously powerful battery and the battery is now underwater and there's a shark that's approximately 10 yards over there. By the way, a lot of shark attacks lately. Do you notice that? A lot of shark. A young woman swimming now really got decimated and other people too. A lot of shark attacks. So I said, so there's a shark 10 yards away from the boat. Do I get electrocuted? If the boat is sinking, water goes over the battery, the boat is sinking. Do I stay on top of the boat and get electrocuted? Or do I jump over by the shark and not get electrocuted? I said, I think it's a good question. I think there's a lot of electric current coming through that water. But you know what I'd do if there was a shark or you get electrocuted? I'll take electrocution every single time. I'm not getting near the shark. Has there ever been a report of electrocution by an automotive battery? Is the mega crowd in the camp of current kills not voltage? Both batteries are typically 12 or 24 volts. It's not enough to electrocute anybody. See? This 12 volt battery can deliver tens of amps of current if I short its output with this piece of wire. Ouch! But it won't deliver through your body because the voltage is too low. Ah! I guess if your boat is drowning, don't eat the battery. Let me put some salt water on my face and see what happens. Yeah, still nothing. I, uh, I, I, I feel a little bit in my gums. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a little bit of more current running through me now. Yeah, just a tad bit. Not electrocution levels though. So I guess in salt water, if you sit on battery contacts, you may feel some level of discomfort. Don't do that. Watch my other video where I put 120 volts in water with my leg in it. So you learn to be more careful. Guys, we won. What did we win? Alumagnetic? In Urban Dictionary? Alumagnetic. Any metal that is not ferromagnetic. Wow. So many entries too! Mehdi? Am I on Urban Dictionary? Mehdi is a man who is funny and can be very charming when he wants to. One of his favorite quotes is that the most silent creator is often the deadliest. They are not describing me. Can somebody prove this bastard wrong who made a so-called free energy video again? <laughs> He's just using a free wheel and this time with springs. These guys' build qualities are very good though. I wish they would make something useful. Yeah, 
what a waste of talent. What did I tell you about being aware of reverse videos? The wheel is not speeding up, it's slowing down. He just reversed the video. Look, he's mixing his hand, accelerating the wheel to the reverse clip of the wheel slowing down to show it speeding up. There is no free energy. Is this real? How does it work? Man turns room into microwave to power a electric floating orb. Ooh, look at that. Electric orb. Oh, he has a microwave oven Megatron. What was it called? The orb is floating in midair. It's not floating for God's sake. There is a wire attached and it's just burning through the wire slowly and the orb is coming down. You can see it when it stops right there. See, it was the end of the wire melting. Turns room into a microwave. And don't play with this stuff, they're dangerous. <sighs> My brain feels a bit warm after watching that. And running a magnetron in open air is quite dangerous. He basically cooked himself. Let's thank the inverse law, otherwise, breaking news, man melts after being exposed to 800 watts 2.4 gigahertz radiations from a magnetron. And what's up with the quality? Always captured on a potato camera when it's interesting. <laughs> Comments literally to write my script for me. Rectification. Death cooking. Look at the size of that transformer. What is it doing? Oh my god. Does everyone has a death wish? Don't do this. Is boiling water wasting gigawatts of power? Those things are not fire. There are very high voltage arcs. The reason they go up is because the arcs are very hot and the air keeps pushing them up and then they short through the boulder and melting the bowl too apparently. Mm, looks very cool until someone dies. This has to be the most expensive way to heat a pot. The design is very human. Penny for your thoughts? Way cheaper and lasts longer. Oh, he cut a penny into a fuse replacement. <laughs> That's not gonna blow open. Follow for more automotive hacks. <laughs> do not follow. What should I do with this microwave oven transformer? Eat it, it's high in iron. Microwave oven transformer is super dangerous. Just rewind it to a high current transformer. I don't want people risking their lives playing with two kilovolts. If you use it as is and touch it when it's live, you will be dead before you hit the ground. Please be careful with this garbage. It's not for fun and games. Just throw it away or unwind the wires and make a Tesla coil with it. Hmm. Well, I don't see anything wrong with this electrically heated shower wired in the room. It's even grounded in the bottle. Do people do it as a joke or they actually think this works? <laughs> At least their heart was in the right place. What the f is going on here with that cable? It does seem to be a life wire, but it's just an air hose. It is not a no probe or a danger noodle. It's just a hose pushing air, jumping around. High voltage ground fault testing. When a high voltage power line fails to deliver sufficient electricity, or there's a suspected ground fault, firing a grounded projectile into the power line real? to create a temporary short circuit is a precise and effective technique used to detect and address faults. This helps in locating the exact position of the fault by observing the behavior what? of the electrical current and the resulting fault I mean, current wave. Do they actually do that? This method I need to get invited to a power facility to perform that test now. I'm trying to study for my new job job, why is it so hard? Huh? Because clearly you are not using my sponsor Brilliant.org. Studying on your own to excel in school or your job or interview is quite a tough task. Blah! But Brilliant makes it quite easy by making learning fun through their thousands of interactive courses and quizzes. The hands-on problem solving is the best way to... And thanks to Brilliant, you gain these skills at your own convenience on your computer or phone. Skills you can carry for life. For me, as soon as I stop procrastinating, I like to start coding. But knowing the language is one thing and writing proper code is another. I'll take Brilliant's thinking in code path to help me structure my code better. And you can too for free, taking advantage of the 30-day free trial using my link brilliant.org slash electroboom or scanning the QR code. And when you get hooked on knowledge, you can take 20% off annual premium subscription. And good luck learning. And thank you for watching.